Welcome to a beginner-friendly series where you build a complete application together. This is the type of application you should build to put in your portfolio. We are going to use Windows Forms to build a Postman clone. Postman is a tool for testing APIs by calling them from a user interface and allowing you to review the return data. Our application will do something similar, although in a much simpler manner. In just a few lessons, we will have a working demo to show off. After that, we will continue to refine it step by step. If you are wondering how to get started in an application, how to build a portfolio application, or how to test out the skills you've been building, this is a series for you. I would encourage you to bookmark this playlist and follow along as we build out this application. Also, I will be releasing 10 minute training videos that'll be helpful for building up your skills in some of the areas we'll be covering in this series. So keep your eye out for them as well. Now, I am intentionally not releasing the source code for this course. The reason for that is because I want you to follow along and build what I build. Just downloading my source code won't give you the same value. Eventually, I'll include this course in the dev pass on I am Tim Corey, but initially it will only be for YouTube. So let's look at what we, we will be building. So what we're going to build is a Windows Form Apps or WinForm app that is a clone of the Postman app. It should be able to call a given API and display the results in a text window. Now, what we're going to do is start with that little application goal, and we're going to build that in just a couple of lessons. But then we're going to expand out of that to say, well, what if we did more things like maybe instead of just a Git, we can do a post. And what if we could have a message body? And what if we have headers and other things? We can address all those different things and kind of expand our app as we go. But the initial app will be very simple to build. That's a really important thing we can test out what we know about WinForms and get something up quickly. From there, we can continue to iterate and grow over time and make it a better and better application to put into our portfolio. Okay, so let's talk about what technologies we'll be using in this course. So, of course, Windows Forms or WinForms. That's a given since I've said that over and over. But also, we'll be using a class library. We're going to talk about how you don't have to use a class library, but how it will help you down the road. It will give you some good separation and allow you to uh, upgrade your user interface without upgrading your business logic or data access. We'll also be using HTTP client. This is a tool for accessing the web. And it's a very simple tool in a lot of ways to get started with. There's a lot of depth you can go into with HTTP client, but to get started, it's fairly simple. So we'll be doing that. And also along with that, we'll be working with JSON. JSON is the data that comes back from an API call typically. So we'll be getting data back from an API in text format called JSON. We'll be learning how to work with JSON, how to make it pretty, how to put it into a WinForm control so you can see all the data returned and so on. Now, we'll also be using Git because I encourage everybody to build out a project with Git. Um, it's just a great way to make sure that you feel safe when making changes. You can always roll back those changes to the previous commit. Also, we think GitHub is a place to store our Git source code. Now, I am going to use a private repository, but again, the point isn't to just give you source code. The point is for you to do this along with me. So, We'll be using GitHub in a private manner, but I'll be showing you how you would use that then to show off as a portfolio item. Yes, you can have a Windows form application in your portfolio, and we'll even have a lesson on how to make sure to show off what that does in a way that a person viewing your uh, GitHub repository, which would be public for you, um, learn how to show that off in a way that you can see what the code does, not just see the code itself. So we're gonna cover all of that in this course. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a beginner friendly course. It's going to be in some ways simple to start, but we're gonna go into some complexities that maybe even intermediate developers might find interesting. 
and also along with that or make sure that we develop us an iterative process so that we can see how a real application evolves over time and see how to kind of take all those wild ideas you might have about what additional things this application could do and turn that into a a process where we can do those over time rather than, than trying to make them all fit into one, you know, pre-version one launch, which then means means your application never gets fully formed. So we're going to work through all of that and we're going to create something that is really actually useful. This is a useful tool. In fact, you know, I might use this myself sometimes because it'd be a very quick tool for just testing on API. So we're going to build something that's actually useful along the way. Okay, so that's it. That's what we're going to build and what technologies we'll be using. I'm looking forward to seeing how you grow as a developer while following along. I encourage you to take full advantage of the training and let me know how the, your progress is going in the comments. All right, thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.